Does anyone know what a pull down is? No, who no. Tell us, Mr. Audio. In 1953, when color television was first introduced, the NTSC decided to pull down the frame rate 0.1%, from 30 to 29.97 frames per second. This was done to avoid any possible resonance with the 60 Hz electrical line frequency. Most of the early digital audio workstations that needed to play in sync with video players were always pulled down when locked to house sync generators. This made the sample rate either 44056 for 441 or 47952 for 48K. So, whenever editors are involved in audio posts for video, they need to be aware of both the video frame rate and also whether or not a pull down is being used. Projects that are made for television as opposed to the big screen will be more likely to use a pull down. With most digital audio workstations, it's now possible to operate at a pulled down timecode rate like 2997 or 23976 without also using a pull down sample rate. However, often the sample rate is pulled down as well. So, in order for sound and picture elements to be locked to the timeline, it's necessary for the audio editor to know whether or not to use the pull down. Thanks, Mr. Audio. For more interesting facts about sound, visit Mr. Audio at soundimages.com.